What's up? Welcome back or to the 710 Performance Vlog. If this is your first time checking us out, we appreciate you checking us out. And hopefully we bring you some great content. And if you're coming back, well, we thank you for coming back and checking out the channel. First off, I want to apologize for not having a video up today. It's Wednesday. Our schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I had an abscess uh, in my mouth. A tooth that, uh, it, well, it was around the tooth that was infected. It wasn't actually the tooth. Anyway, my mouth was swollen, couldn't talk, really had a massive headache and couldn't do any work. So we haven't done much the last couple of days. Now we're back in the swing of things. I'm feeling about 90% better. At least I know I can do some work and record and be able to talk. So we're back. You guys know that we picked up the studs to extend the oven about a week ago. Yesterday, amidst everything that was going on, we did go and pick up the metal to go ahead and build the extension. So we have the studs and we have the metal right here. Now, if you check this metal out and this metal out, very big, very thick. We're going to be using that metal to build a rack that will roll in and out of the oven. That's what we're looking at doing right now is getting ready to get this oven. And today we're going to be building the extension to this oven. We've also tracked down a bigger heater just in case we need a bigger one. Instead of 75,000 to 125,000 BTU, it's 175,000 to 225,000. 5,000 BTU so it's much bigger they actually have two of them available if they haven't got rid of one of them and we know that one if not two should do suffice there we are going to stick with this one that we currently have to see if it'll pump out the heat that we need but if we do need to upgrade oh we found one on Facebook marketplace so we can get it if we need to on today's agenda I do want to shout out goofy belt if you haven't checked out goofy belts channel we actually powder coated a valve cover for him and it's been a while it's been a couple of months ago but he shouted us out in our in his channel yesterday and we just want to show our appreciation back so if you go to the first link in the description you'll see a link to goofy belts channel make sure you go check it out and subscribe if you like the content i also want to shout out unknown coatings that's going to be the second link in the description unknown coatings sean over there has been very helpful to us we reached out to him and said hey we're having some troubles doing these second coats i said what can we do that's better he said you can upgrade your gun you can upgrade your powder coating system that's really what's going to help you. So we have found a powder coating system from a Chinese company. I believe it's the same Chinese company that makes the Gemma gun that manufactures it because let's face it, most of all these powder coating systems are manufactured and made in China. They do make replacement parts for the Gemma and the Parker Ionics machine and you can purchase them on their website. The system that we're getting is actually a Gemma knockoff. You can even use Gemma tips and Gemma parts on the gun. So it's pretty much a Gemma gun. We're getting a big box 50 pound high hopper as well as a small like one and a half or one pound hopper and then a five pound fluidizing hopper total with shipping is about twenty one hundred dollars it's got presets for faraday's cage effect it's got presets for second coats it's got, also has a couple other presets you can adjust the micro amps you can adjust the fluidizing control you can adjust everything so this is really a professional setup for doing large pieces and for large production this is going to help us save powder be more efficient save save time and with the bigger oven in the rack being able to put three or four wheels in the oven at a time is going to allow us to speed up production we're super excited about this now let's get into building the extension for this oven So our oven is five foot tall. I just went ahead and cut all of the pieces, the studs that we need, five foot tall. And I've got the rest of the pieces that we're gonna need that are four foot long. So basically, we're gonna make the length four foot and the width four foot. So 
I've got all of those pieces right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down. Once I get these cut down, we're ready to rock and roll. Since we had built this oven before and we already had planned on extending the oven, either building it taller when we get into our new place or extending it, which we still might build it taller when we do get into the new place. But since we did that, we've made it very easy for us to be able to expand. So one, we have all the sheets of steel that are already cut. We ordered them cut to size, which is great. Should have done that last time. Now we got all the studs cut. So I'm gonna run on over to good old Harbor Freight. I'm gonna get us a bunch of these rivets so we can go ahead and get back here and get to riveting everything together. We've really been able to cut down the production time on putting this together for a couple of reasons. One, we only need to build basically three panels. A panel that goes here, a panel that goes here, and a panel that goes across the top. That'll be the three panels. Then we'll take the door that we already have and put it on the end. So then we'll have an eight foot long oven. And we do have that pointed down. One thing that I did not think about when building the, when getting the rack pieces cut as I did it seven foot six inches. And I think that sticks out a little bit more than seven foot six inches. So we might have to do something with that piping there, or we might have to do something to adjust the rack so it's not quite as long. We might have to cut like three or four inches off, but really we'll be able to get these panels riveted together in the next couple of hours. We want to get the oven together and get it working as quickly as possible. That way we can still continue to do smaller parts and keep our projects and keep everything flowing so we don't fall behind. And then once we get the rack built, we'll go on to doing the bumpers. So hopefully we'll get to building the rack today. I don't know if there's anything we absolutely have to powder coat. I, I do believe that here in the next few hours, we will have the oven put together. Let's get on over to Harbor Freight. I went to Harbor Freight and I grabbed a drill. This is one that you plug into the wall. Got us another hose. This hose is going to be, we do have a three plug outlet. Connectors, some rivets, two packs of 100, so that's 200 of them. And then I went ahead and picked us up some more blades, or some more bits. So this is how long it's gonna be right here. Eight foot. That's gonna be a nice size oven. I think it'll heat pretty easy too because it's not super tall. Again, we do have a line on a couple of bigger heaters as well. Could probably take that solenoid off the one I currently have and put it on the new one so we won't even have to have any downtime. But I'm pretty sure that this is gonna work the way that it is. We'll just have to check and see. Time to get back to work. Um, so that's what we're doing right now is we're just getting it ready for the roof. 
and then we'll start putting it together. We'll take the same door, put it on the end, and then we gotta go to Home Depot to get some insulation. We might do that a little bit later this evening. I don't really want to prolong things, but if if we go later this evening, we're not gonna have to stand outside. Yeah, in the line. No, so, we got a trick. We just say we're renting a truck. That's true. We just say we're going to rent a truck, and that will work too. So, but anyways, that's what we've got going on. We're getting this all done right now. We've got two of the walls about. It's only taken a couple hours. We're going to now get the roof belt so we can start getting it all put together. everybody so we're just gonna do a test fire we don't have any insulation so we know it's gonna leak heat like crazy uh, because we don't have insulation on the new part but we're gonna go ahead and just uh, run it real quick to see how long it takes to heat up and if we're gonna need to get the bigger heater <music> So we've got the oven together, we just need to get some insulation on it, get some caulking on it, and we'll be ready to rip rock and roll with this bad boy. We do need to get some more hinges for the door because uh, these are no longer effective and they were riveted there. So we're not gonna pull them off at all. We can use it as a, as a way to lift this when we move it, just joking. So we have a few more things to tie up. We did do a heat test. It did lose some heat, but we were having a little bit of troubles getting to 410 degrees, which is what we wanted to try and do. We like to, with uh, once we get insulation, we'll obviously do it higher because Super Chrome does need a cure at 450 degrees. So we will do tests to make sure it gets that high. But right now we are seeking another heater and the heater that we're looking at, this is 75,000 BTU to 125,000 BTU. The one we're looking at grabbing here on Facebook Marketplace is 250,000 BTU up to 400,000 BTU. We're definitely gonna be pushing a lot bigger heater, twice to three times as powerful as this one. When it's turned all the way up and cranking, this thing we should get up to temperature as quickly or quicker than the other one. We might need to get bigger bottles of propane because I have a feeling we're gonna go through the 15 pound ones real quick. We are going to contact Amerigas and see about getting 100 pound tanks delivered to us. We're gonna go ahead and heat up this caulking real quick so we can go through and caulk everything up because it is going to take a day or two to dry. So we pretty much got the whole thing cocked. All on the inside everywhere too. It's not the prettiest, but it works. You think any heat's gonna come out right there? Nope, probably not. <laughs> we gotta use it all though. <laughs> 